I said, you really feel emerging it. Wow. Wow. I, ah. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> this right here is the brand new DJI Avata 2. It sports an impressive 1 over 1.3 inch image sensor which can film 4K videos up to 60 frames per second. It also has a super wide 155 degree field of view and it can capture 10 bit D log M footage. That's pretty sick if you ask me. However, since I've never in my life like flown a proper FPV drone, then the big question obviously becomes can I fly it properly? How easy is it? And most importantly, can I get some cool shots? Well, luckily I have a friend who has years of experience flying these. Hey man. Hey man. Hey. I heard that you're really good at flying one of these. You wanna try? Yeah. This handsome fellow right here is my good friend Ulle Nilsson. He's a photographer and a professional YouTuber, but more importantly, he's been flying FPV drones for years and he has tons of experience with DJI's previous model of the Avata. Now, since I'm a total beginner with zero experience, then he actually recommended me to start out with the new RC Motion 3 controller because apparently, according to him and just DJI in general, then like anyone, can fly an FPV drone using it. So, you know, let's see if that's true. How hard is it to fly one of these? It depends if you're fly totally manual or with the uh, motion controller. But uh, the motion controller, <laughs> my grandfather can fly with the motion controller. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now this statement, it really puts pressure on me because Ulle is not just saying this to be cool. He actually let his grandpa try out the old version and the old man, he could easily fly it. And this newer version, the Abata 2, it's a lot better and easier to fly if anything. So will I be able to fly it like a pro or <laughs> will I just crash and burn? What are your initial thoughts, my friend? Great quality video. I'm very impressed by that. And I think this is so cool that like anyone can basically fly it and experience, because this is something you have to experience. It's not something that you can get through like a simple video. It's such a cool feeling that you can actually fly. Like, hey, <laughs> that's been the dream for people through like all mankind. So, uh. Well, my friends, it was time for me to channel my own inner FPV nerd. So I said goodbye to my friend Ulle and went on a quest to learn how to fly this thing myself without any professional help. Keep that in mind. And the first thing that I noticed is simply just how incredibly fun and enjoyable it is to fly this thing. It's honestly really hard to describe unless you've tried it yourself because you're like actually seeing in first person view what the drone sees while you are flying it. It's kind of insane to be honest. Now the second thing I noticed is that Ulle and DJI and probably everybody else were like totally right. It's honestly ridiculous how easy it is for a beginner like me to fly this using the motion controller. I even played around with precision flying, like you can see here, putting the drone through the gnarliest gaps I could find on the yard. And I managed, which was like just sick, at least to me, you know. Plus the image quality in the goggles, it's great. And one thing that I want to add is that all of the footage that you're seeing here is stabilized inside the drone itself with rock stabilization, meaning there is no third party app that I use to get stable footage, which I thought that I had to do with an FPV drone, but when I was editing it and I was looking through the raw footage, I saw that it just looks stable and sick straight off the camera. So I didn't even bother to like, yo, I just used the footage that you're seeing straight out of the camera. However, I need to be honest with you guys and come clean about one thing. You see, when DJI first contacted me, I actually declined the offer to make this video. And the reason I said no initially was simply due to the fact that I don't have the, like, the slightest clue how to fly one of these drones. But DJI assured me that if I were to use a motion controller, then me with even zero skills would have a good time and like more importantly would be able to fly and get some cool shots. And you know what, like after flying it now a few times with zero prior experience of like flying any type of FPV drone, then I'm surprised by how intuitive it is to use the motion controller. You basically just point it and that's where the drone 
goes and then you have the throttle and if you panic just take it off and it's gonna hover. Now I've always liked the cinematic shots that I've seen people be able to get with FPV drones because unlike regular drones which are like fixed on the horizon then with an FPV drone you can tilt the horizon and get this really dynamic and beautiful shots. Now one thing that they've added to this drone here is what they call easy acro mode which I find pretty cool because now it allows me with this uh, using the joystick here to get these more advanced type of FPV drone movements like 180 degree like spin or just a flip whether it is like front flip back flip or like these side flips and also these cool like sliding motions. Now I would like to make DJI put their money where their mouth is because if it's like as easy and simple to fly this drone as they say then me as a total beginner has only flown this like I think four times should easily be able to take this drone here and just fly it over <laughs> the, the water. Um, I'm a little bit unsure of this but we, we have to we have to try and we have to make them like yeah is it as easy to say but before I go in the water or in the water hopefully not in the water but above the water and get some shots there then let's ask my wife who's never flown any type of drone, whether it's a regular DJI drone or an FPV drone in her entire life. Let's see if she can fly it. Have you ever flown one of a drone before? No. Never? No. Not I don't think so. No drone? No. All right, so this here is the motion controller. Mm -hmm. This is the throttle right here, all right? And uh, this is how fast you accelerate. And then you basically move it by just moving the hand left and right up and down. Mm -hmm. It's very intuitive and you'll understand really quickly. Does it have a brake? Yes, if you if you uh, panic, you just take off the oh. trigger and it stops completely and it hovers. All right, you ready to try? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so footage, you guys. <laughs> Now maybe this isn't the craziest drone footage that you've ever seen, but keep in mind that she's never in her life flown any type of drone before. And the fact that she was able to successfully take off, fly the thing and then land it hustle free, that's pretty amazing if you ask me. I did it! Are you here? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> you see, one, if you double tap the, the goggles too, then you can see... <laughs> then you can see me. <laughs> okay, I'm just seeing what the goggles see. Yeah. I thought it was the drone again. <laughs> it was you. Now, two things that I haven't mentioned that I really like about this drone. One, the flight time, it's 23 minutes and the battery is charged really quickly. And then secondly, it has a large 46 gigabyte internal memory, which is really nice because you are going to forget SD cards every now and then. And then having an internal storage is gold. One more thing I want to add here, my friends, is that all of the FPV footage that you've seen in this video, except from the one that my wife captured and then the insane Avata 1 footage from Ulle, was filmed by me. The reason I haven't used the footage Ulle captured with the Avata 2 was simply because I forgot to switch it to 4K when we were out shooting, so all the footage he got was filmed in full HD. So that means that if you've been watching this and thought to yourself, man, this footage looks pretty dope, then know that all of it was filmed by a guy who'd flown an FPV drone maybe five times in his entire life. All right, so it is time to see if I can fly here over the water. There is an island just here, which I'm going to try to fly uh, around to just have a good time. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I have not backed up any of the files. They are still on the drone, I know. It's stupid, <laughs> but it also raises the stakes quite a lot. Uh, I, I I cannot uh, f fail on this, because then what I'm going to say to DJ, like, yeah, I, I crashed the drone and yeah, no video. <laughs> so I uh, this has to work. So DJ, this better be easy, okay?
Now, I'm not gonna lie, flying this close above the water was insanely fun, but it was also pretty stressful, especially this shot right here. Yeah, I'm not sure why I did it, I just kind of wanted to see if I could do it, and once I started, I was kind of fully committed. But to be honest, with this ultra winding lens, it's a pretty sick view. Alright, so it's crashed here. Super lucky, the water is just there. It flies! It flies! <laughs> it flies! So with its built-in propeller guards, the drone is really robust. And after this crash, it didn't really have any scratch on it. Now, I always do recommend flying safe, of course, when you're flying. But if you find yourself alone like me in the countryside, then pumping this thing up to its max speeds on an empty field, <laughs> that thrill, it's like nothing else. I also thought it was pretty cute that my kids came out and wanted to see their dad fly like a damn professional. <laughs> or maybe not like a professional, but at least uh, getting some pretty sick footage, if you ask me. Now, there's no question about it that this here is a really fun drone to fly. It can also allow us to get some really dynamic and pretty sick shots, even for us super beginners with the like help of the motion controller. I was flying it now for a few days and just using this controller, then I wish I could get it a little bit faster, because mastering that controller is, is, like, is a piece of cake. But I guess that there is where, you know, the RC comes into play, and I feel that that's like the next logical step to me, to get the most out of this drone. However, speaking about beginners, because I'm a total beginner in this world, then this camera right here that DJI made, it honestly surprised me like almost equally as much as this when I tried it for the first time. So next, my friend, you should watch this video right here. <laughs> 